Hello everyone and welcome to the video and today we're going to be talking about the best quality build in Elden Ring. So if you guys are not familiar with the term quality build, it is essentially a build that utilizes not only strength but dexterity in equal amounts to do massive amounts of damage. But before we get into the video, I would like to ask you guys to not only drop a sub to the channel, but a like on the video if you enjoyed the build or if you found it helpful. So with that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. So obviously you guys can see the amount of damage that I'm able to do with these jump attacks is pretty staggering. So as you guys can see, it is around 6,000 when they are both buffed up. So the damage is pretty staggering, and you guys might think that these giant axes can only scale with strength. However, they do scale very well with both strength and dexterity. So now we're going to take a look at the gear for the build. So for this build specifically, we are using two quality duelist great axes plus 25. And we have the Royal Knights Resolve Ash of War on this. This is going to give us a giant boost to damage, especially when we are using the jump attacks. For the fashion of the build, we have the Okina Mask, the Raptors Black Feathers, Beast Champion Gauntlet, and Beast Champion Greaves. For the Talismans, we have the Claw Talisman, the Dragon Crest Great Shield Talisman, the Erd Tree Favor Plus 2, and the Ritual Sword Talisman. As for the Flask of Wondrous Physic, we have the Strength Knot Crystal Tier and the Dexterity Knot Crystal Tier. These are going to give us a plus 10 boost to both Strength and Dexterity, so it is very useful for the build. And then last but not least, we have the Blood Bullet Aromatic, which gives you, I believe, a 25% boost to physical damage. As for the stats of the build, we are level 150, we have 60 Vigor, 17 Mind, 45 Dexterity, 63 Strength, 63 Dexterity, 19 Intelligence, 11 Faith, and 14 Arcane. It is important to note that this is boosted by not only my Great Rune, which is giving me plus 5 to all stats, but also boosted by my Flask of Wondrous Physic, which gives me plus 10 to Strength and Dexterity. So with the stats and the gear of the build out of the way, we are now going to talk a little bit about how to use this build, as well as some of the strengths of the build and the weaknesses. Um, so as you can see here, right off the bat, when you are fighting a boss, right here I am fighting Melania, you want to pop your Blood Boil Aromatic, because this is going to be your only buff, essentially, and then you are going to want to buff up both of your axes with the Royal Knight's Resolve. Each Royal Knight Resolve gives you about 80% extra damage, so the damage is pretty staggering, and you're going to want to buff up whenever you can. So, in order to do this, if you guys are not familiar with how to buff up both weapons at the same time, essentially all you need to do is two-hand your left-handed weapon, and buff that one up and then from there you're going to want to go back to one in each hand and then press l2 one more time and from there you will buff up the right-handed weapon and they will both be buffed up from there you just want to go in and focus on your jump attacks um, so that's going to be one of the main points of the build and the main damage source for the build so essentially you're going to want to be doing jump attacks whenever you can um, so now we're going to be taking a look at the strengths of the build and obviously the weaknesses as well so obviously, as you guys can tell, the amount of damage you can do in bursts is very, very high. However, after that, you are at a long period where essentially you have no damage coming out and you are very, very vulnerable. So to minimize this, you are going to want to be in and out of combat very often. You are going to want to be able to buff up frequently. So when you do that, you will be able to maximize your damage output and efficiency in general. Um, as you guys can see here in this Melania fight, I was able to do about 5,000 when both of my weapons were charged up. That is a massive amount of damage, however, you have to be able to put on Royal Knight's Resolve on both weapons in order to be able to do this. So a lot of times in this fight, I was uh, leaving combat, or I was waiting until she missed a couple attacks, or um, pretty much any period where I had enough time, I would just buff up my right hand weapon. Uh, I didn't really want to buff up the left one as well because I feel like it took too long and honestly um, the damage from just the right one was enough. The only time I really buffed up both of them was in the start of the fight or a phase change. However, you could easily change this and buff up pretty much all the time by just running away. So if you want to do maximum amount of damage, you're just going to want to kind of weave in and out of the fight and um, just buff up every single time you do a jump attack. So obviously the way Royal Knight's Resolve works is you get 80% damage on both of your weapons, but it's only for one attack. So you want to maximize the damage of this attack, and that's why we are using strictly jump attacks whenever we do have the Royal Knight's Resolve on, because they do the most damage. So with all that out of the way, we are now going to talk about the very few weaknesses of this build, and essentially it is only one weakness, and that is the lack of range. So a lot of other builds, they have um, a lot of range, they have incantations, spells, anything... Um, in this build, you just have two giant axes, so you just kind of got to make it work. Uh, but that's pretty much it for today's video, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it, and I will see you next time.